Karen? Yes. You might not be aware of this, but did you know that there is an ancient manuscript about you in a library in India? <laughs> about me. Yep, about you. You mm. see, it seems that <laughs> it seems that 3000 years ago, these enlightened sages through the help of Lord Shiva mm. gained the power of clairvoyance. Now these maharishis then used this divine power to look into the future and predict the lives of millions of people. And they put these insights down on dried palm leaves. Now, your palm leaf, Karen, was written specifically for you. So billions of people then. Uh, well, like, to answer your most important questions. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah th th so these, these, these palm leaves answer your most important questions about your life, in including questions about karma, your obstacles, your destiny, career, health, you name it. And today's what? guest founded the Indian Palm Leaf Reading Institute that was stood up so that people like you and I can search for our leaf without having to travel all the way to India. Why have I not heard of this before? Are you curious yet? I'm very curious. I know I am. So let's get the show started. <laughs> My name is Will. And I'm Karen. And unlike Mulder and Scully... We both want to believe. So we've embarked on a journey of discovery. We've talked to people deeply entrenched in the spiritual and metaphysical world. We've thrown ourselves into weird and wonderful experiences. I even joined a coven of witches. And, wait, you joined a coven? Yep, all in the interest of finding something... Anything. ...that will prove that there's something beyond this physical... Three-dimensional world we all live in. This is The, the Skeptic, Skeptic Metaphysicians. Metaphysicians. Hey there, thanks for joining us on this episode of The Skeptic Metaphysicians. Today's show is one I have been looking forward to for a long time. We're talking about Indian palm leaf reading. Now, we're not talking about your palm, the palm of your hand, but actual leaves from a palm tree. Now, this miraculous gift was brought to us by the ancient Maharishis to help us answer some of the toughest questions challenging us today. To think, to think that every person has all the answers they need written on a palm leaf in India. Simply put, it's hard to wrap your head around. Very hard. Now, to help us with this eye-opening concept, we are privileged to get the chance to speak with the founder of the institute that helps us have access to these answers without having to trek across the world. Now, he's founded the institute specifically to bring this powerful ancient wisdom to us after his reading revealed to him that he would bring this ancient knowledge to the West. He's now been a guide for 25 years, and we want to thank, welcome Dr. Q to the show. Dr. Q, thanks for coming on. Thank you so much for having me, Karen and Will. It's an honor and a pleasure. Yeah. Well, I well, am just I so know, curious. I know. And we're <laughs> going to get to all your questions, uh, Karen, but we want to make sure we set a foundation for our conversation, mm -hmm. right? First and foremost, um, Dr. Q, um, you, this is a very specific specifically Indian modality. However, if someone is watching the video, they can see that you're not, you don't look like a typical Indian. So how did you get involved with um, palm, uh, palm leaf reading? Thank you. That is one of the questions that I'm being asked all the time. How come a white guy does something <laughs> profoundly Indian, not just Indian, Southern Indian. Mm. That's a big difference. Yeah, Southern Indian, that's right. Southern Indian, yeah. It comes from the state of Tamil Nadu, where people are Tamil. They're distinctly different to the rest of the country. They don't speak Hindi, which is the unifying language in India. They speak Tamil. And um, I am a lover of Indian stuff to begin with. I've been meditating for 30 years. I've been doing yoga for 20 years. And, um, but besides that, and I travel, of course, a lot over 100 countries so far, but I'm not Indian at all. What happened is the biggest challenge of my life is health. I've been in hospital longer than most people. So cancer when I was a teenager, caused by, some of you might be mature enough to remember Chernobyl, at the time I lived in Austria. That was in 1986, the nuclear fallout that happened over Central Europe. and. Dr. Q, way before he was Dr. Q, was a teenager living in Vienna, uh, capital city of Austria, got cancer because of that. 
So I spent three years in and out of hospital, six months as an inpatient, thousand needles in my veins, um, and I survived. You can imagine when I get diagnosed with cancer, I was like, God, why me? Why me? Mm -hmm. I'm a kid. I'm 16 years old. I haven't done any bad yet. I'm just starting my life. But at 19, going through sometimes hell mm -hmm. and watching people die, I said, God, why me? How come I survived and people that I shared the room with did not? So that is the beginning of my spiritual journey, if you wish. I've been tr and I've been trying ever since to pierce the veil to understand what is beyond what we can actually see. Mm. So I spent a lot of time with shamans in the Amazon. I've visited John of God several times. This was possibly the most famous medium who uh, lives in Brazil. Done a lot of things. And so 10 years ago, I got sick again. Mm. And um, at the time, my girlfriend said, maybe that has to do with karma. And there is a modality called Indian palm readings. Maybe you can do that. And maybe it helps you overcome your karma. I said, Indian palm reading, what the hell is that? And uh, the rest is history. So I told myself, if I survive, and I did, because I was in the ICU, had a major heart issue. I went on a search to find my leaf. And uh, it blew my mind, I'm telling you, and this doesn't come easy, you know, easy in a way, because I've done a lot of things. I've seen a lot of things, more than most I could say. And yet, I was really impressed. Uh -huh. So, you want to ask him? Yeah. So, how is it to, to Karen's question? Because we there's so many questions, and we want to give you the time to because yeah. yeah, we've got a limited amount of time. I know. Um, the the palm, the Indian palm leaf reading. Um, can you break down? Because it, 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 I did some research on it, and it is mind blowing to to think that it there's is. that that this is out there that it's so little, not well known at all. Can you tell us what exactly is it so that we've got a foundation? About two to 3,000 years ago, we do not know exactly when because there is no written record of any of it, only word of mouth. So-called Maharishis, which means great sage, sat down in meditation, primarily meditating to Lord Shiva, but also Ganesha or Parvati's wife, not just Shiva, but primarily Shiva. And through the meditation, they got access to the Akashic records. They downloaded the information and then passed on the information to their disciples to write down the message. And those messages are written on palm leaves. We need to think historically. At that mm -hmm. time, there was no paper. They had to use something they had in abundance, and that's palm trees. What they did is they took these huge palm leaves and cut them into stripes, if you wish, of 10, 20 inches long and about an inch or two wide. They're not standardized either, either by the way. So they took these fresh leaves, and then they used a sharp tool to etch the information onto the fresh leaf. No ink, no paper, no waste, everything organic. And um, mm -hmm. uh, in a beautiful way, able to preserve the information. Okay. And when it dried up, the message came through. And that is how the information has been conserved, I guess, preserved for the past two, 3,000 years. Mm. So, so then how is it possible that someone two to 3,000 years ago got information about Karen and wrote it on a palm leaf and it's been preserved for 3,000 years in this uh, this repository, right, in India. Uh, how did they think ahead that, okay, Karen's going to want this palm leaf? Then allow me to dive into quantum physics mm -hmm. a little bit. By all means. And it's the explanation I came up with myself because I've been doing a lot of things in my lifetime. If you can accept that there is no time the way we perceive it, 
no past, no present, no future. It all happens at the same time. And I came to that conclusion through thousands of hours of meditation and shamanic help in the Amazon. Once you're there, you understand. So if there is no time the way we experience it, that means everything happens at the same time, mm -hmm. which means Karen then now in the future says, well, I need some guidance at some point. So let's have them, even though I don't think there is a them either, because everything is connected, give me direction when I need it. And that is how it all hopefully makes sense. Right. So then does everybody on the planet have a palm leaf there waiting for them? In theory, maybe yes. But the quintessential question will be, does everyone hear the message? Mm. I didn't hear it because I remember I read a book written by Deepa Chopra where he talks about his own palm leaf reading mm -hmm. in his book of secrets. Came out maybe 20 years ago or so. Went in one ear and out the other. Now I'm a sucker for spiritual things. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't ready to hear it. Right. But when my girlfriend told me about it, I was ready. And that is the beginning of my journey with palm leaf readings. So is yours the only institute? Um, because I, I, it seems like this is something we would have heard about. Why have people not heard about this before? Because it's very difficult. It's not easy at all. First of all, and with all due respect to India, I do like India. I really do. Mm -hmm. But regrettably, the majority of readers and readers are, how should I phrase it, not as qualified mm -hmm. as you might think. Mm -hmm. They would sell you anything mm -hmm. to make a quick buck. Right. 80%, yeah. I would say, not, not go sure. Mm -hmm. Even if you go to the hub of it all, you got to be very careful who you entrust with the reading. Mm -hmm. Because becoming a reader is not easy. You need to study five to seven years. It's very complex. A reader not only needs to know ancient Tamil, because that is how the leaves are written. Mm -hmm. Today they speak modern Tamil, different language. Mm -hmm. Similar to Greek and ancient Greek, a modern Greek mm -hmm. person doesn't understand ancient Greek at all, even though modern Greek is rooted in ancient Greek. You go to university and study it. So that's one. Two, he would need to know all of the astrology. That in itself is a science. Mm -hmm. He would need to know uh, gemology, the chakras, yoga, Ayurveda, anything and everything that has to do with healing. Reading. It's a long, 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 long process to become a reader. Mm -hmm. And to many people, it's just too cumbersome and they fake it. So in order to find a real one, you really need to invest some time. And then over time, there is trust and you find the right people. And that is how I ended up eventually creating this institute. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you I have no intentions whatsoever of starting this. All I wanted 10 years ago is overcome my karma so that I wouldn't end up in hospital again. That's it. But when the guy told me, oh, you will bring this to the West, I thought he is, you know, um, trying to promote it or, or tickle me into something. And I, you know, I said, yeah, whatever. I'm a white guy. I'm not do this. I'm not Indian. <laughs> and yet, you know, I'm a very enthusiastic human person. When I when I shared my story with people, they all wanted to get everything done too. They all wanted, oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah. And then I realized it's not so easy to have it organized. Let's go to India. As soon as you say that, 99% of people will say, oh, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> right. Although I'd love to travel to I India. I love but, to go to India. But. <laughs> right. To some, to a minority, yeah. India is a magnet. An yes. absolute magnet. Mm -hmm. But I spent my most of my adult life, I should say, in tourism. I've got it, God knows, in 20,000 people 
across across the globe. So I've really been to many, 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 many countries. Mm -hmm. India is a bit of a dichotomy. The majority will never go to India no matter what. It's too hot, food's too spicy, you might get sick, whatever the issue might be. To a small minority, wow, they want to go there, they want to live there, they want to spend some time there and so forth. So when we started the first readings, all I did is help people through their process because then I contacted readers, said, can we do this online somehow? They said, sure. So we used Skype in the old days. Mm. And then I realized that people don't understand the Indian English, known as English. So I said, in every reading, repeating things to make him understand. It's not only the, the accent, but it was the deeper meaning of it. Mm -hmm. As I said, I have a lot of experience in spirituality, so I knew what the message is. So I simplified it, repeated it, and made them understand. And then they started to talk about their experience. And at some point I said, my God, there's way too many people. We need to just do this as a hobby and help people. Mm -hmm. And that is why we put it into a legal framework, established it in the US. We're now celebrating seven years. Wow. So exactly seven years ago, the institute was, was created. And now we're in the process of converting it into a foundation, a nonprofit organization, as um, my aim is to not only preserve this knowledge and help my Indian team to make a decent living so they continue doing what they're doing and not losing them mm -hmm. to them becoming IT people or call centers or whatever else India is famous for. And we also support a, an orphanage in that town where the institute is. We have a brick and mortar office in southern India, in the southernmost parts of India, in the city of Kaminadu, which is twice as big as California. To give you an idea, it's not a small wow. state. There's 85 million people in it. And in the central parts of it, there's the hub of palm leaf readings, which we call Nadi reading. I just created the term Indian palm leaf reading so that people hopefully have a better understanding of what it is. When I say Indian, they know mm -hmm. it's India connected, palm leaf, so they won't mix it up with palm mm -hmm. and reading, some sort of a reading involved. Right, because Otherwise, an Indian would never call it Indian palm leaf reading. Of course right. not. It, it's also known as Nadi Astrology, right? Correct. Uh, Nadi reading, Nadi Astrology. Nadi Astrology. So and Nadi, by the way, has many meanings. Ma Nadi means leaf, for example. Huh. Nadi means pulse. Nadi means the exact moment in time when the message is divulged to the seeker. That's the person who's huh. seeking information. Huh. And that person is also called Nadi. <laughs> so Nadi reading or Nadi astrology, because a part of it is connected with Vedic astrology. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not Vedic astrology, but it's connected a little bit. Yeah, to your point, how it's all connected, right? Nadi, one yes. word for so many yes. things, mm -hmm. the connection is so yes. evident right there. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, then the, getting back to the actual process of it, I, I did some research on your website and it talked mm -hmm. about um, the fact that, to your point, when do, uh, Dr. or Deepa Chopra mm -hmm. uh, talked to you, talked to you specifically about this in his yeah. book, it went in one ear and out the other, and it wasn't too much yeah. later that, that actually you got the message. Apparently, from my understanding, is uh, people who hear this message truly hear it are the ones that have that palm leaf waiting for them in that library. Uh, so if you hear this message and it it brings something out and resonates with you. Correct. It means that you probably should initiate that search for your palm leaf. If, if those that it goes in one ear and not the other, perhaps the palm leaf is not there, right? Indeed, um, indeed, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Two things, if I may interject here, there is not one library. Ah. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of small libraries, wow. and they are far from what you think uh, a library is. No right. security guards, air conditioning, <laughs> right. none of that. It's a hole in a wall, yeah. primarily. It's India. Mm -hmm. it, it, well, for, for those, in, in, it, it would make sense because for those that are watching on YouTube, we're putting up a picture of what these palm leaves look like. So they don't look like books, right? They're actual uh, just... It's a bundle, yeah. which is also referred to as a book. Yes. It, it, it's yes. Book of but, whoever but, wrote it. There's no Dewey Decimal System or anything where you can actually look through. So how does, when, when someone wants to get their leaf, their message, how does someone go about going through these thousands of libraries to finding the one that's specifically for that person? 
the whole process is three parts search for the bundle or book mm -hmm. matching of the actual leaf within the bundle to the seeker and then the reading search happens or starts and again going back into quantum physics how do they find it mm -hmm. you need to submit your thumbprint ladies left gents right has to do with hinduism again in the old days nobody could read or write mm -hmm. how can you connect a leaf to a person thumbprint makes it easy <laughs> and each thumbprint has a category name 108 different category names and each bundle only contains leaves with the same thumbprint category name. And for those of you who watch this on YouTube, I brought a multiple bundle with me. So I look at it. Mm -hmm. It is about you know, 10, 20 inches long, 20 inches long, and about an inch or two wide. The leaves are in between, and they're protected with some wood, basically. And that is how they're stored in archives. So uh, each bundle is for many people are in that bundle, everyone that has yeah, the same up matching? Yeah, 108 different okay. individual leaves in one bundle. Okay. But of course, over the centuries, it is integrated, you're losing, there's fire, there's whatever, you're very brittle. Mm -hmm. And usually the average bundle has 40 maybe in mm. it. And uh, we assume there's just thousands and thousands of bundles out there. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, many, 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 many. Authentic ones. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. There are also lots of fake ones, but yeah. the yeah. real ones, you need to know where to go, you find the real ones. Right. Now, what happens is the moment you submit your thumbprint, Karen, mm -hmm. quantum physics, you initiate, you bring a thought, the beginning of everything is just thought. Before that, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why we meditate, mm -hmm. to eradicate thought. And then you become one with the universe. As soon as the thought comes into existence, that is when existence starts, really. And then you need to manifest that thought, mm -hmm. or in this case, your wish to get a reading for an act. And that would be submitting a thumbprint. And as you do that, 3,000 years ago, at the same time, Maharishi starts dictating your leaf. Wow. Okay. And <laughs> then the reader looks at your thumbprint, identifies your thumbprint category name, and with that knowledge, knowing that you're female, the something category name, mm -hmm. the country of your birth, he goes into the archive. And it's a physical act, meaning he hops on his bicycle, goes from one little archive to the next in his village. If the distance is too long, he hops on his moped or public bus. Mm -hmm. And if it's in a different municipality altogether, we now use agents. So we call up an agent, two hours are wasting, dude, we need a bundle that has this category name. And then he looks in his municipality and then ships him over. So we lend, it's like lending a book from a library, from a public library, that's mm. the reality of it. And does every, different libraries have different categories? Is that how, that's how you know, or you yes. just kind of hunt at every li library out there until you find your category? Well, a, a reader doing this for years and years and years well, no. knows after a while, where I can find something. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, because there's just too many of them. So then he will go into the library, and let's say there's 20 bundles, only 20 that have four category name. He wouldn't take all 20. Intuitively, somehow, don't ask me how, they don't know either, the readers, I mean, he picks the two where he thinks your individual leaf is in. So those two come back to the office. Hence, the search comes to an end. He found two bundles, or three, where the chances are very high for your leaf to be in. And that's the first part, end. And then the matching starts. If you live in India, you would walk into our office and then we would do it in person. Mm -hmm. We do the same, exactly the same process online. And so we use Zoom, we do a live call with a reader who doesn't speak any English, and so we need to have an interpreter who interprets Tamil to English which in itself is also challenging. I love that term. That's reason, <laughs> that is the reason why in our institute, we have a moderator, a Western moderator. So there are three people helping the seeker to get the message. And the Western moderators are all trained by me personally. And they they know how to help and what the message means and all the rest of it, mm -hmm. so that you're in good hands. Basically, they hold your hands from the beginning to the end. Then the matching starts. And when the matching starts, the reader 
again the bundle in my hands now he opens up he opens up the bundle like he does a book and then he goes and looks at the very first leaf and reads out the message that is the most important in his opinion on that leaf he reads it out for example you're you're married mm -hmm. and if you're married now you say yes if you're not married now you say no the only answers you ought to give is yes, no, right, not, wrong, correct, incorrect. That's it. Okay. Nothing more. These days are written in ancient Tamil, as I told you, as a poem, not in prose. Oh, wow. And in symbolic ways. It takes a lot of time to be able to decipher the message. I'm telling yeah. you, it's not so easy. Wow. And it's, and it's delivered to you as a chant. Wow. And then the interpreter interprets in English. And then my moderator helps you understand it if you need to. Mm -hmm. You're married, yes, no. As long as he say yes, mm -hmm. stays on the leaf and goes deeper. You have two siblings, yes, no. You have, one of them is a, is a brother, yes, no. As long as you say yes, he stays on it. Mm -hmm. If you say no, that's not your leaf, you flips over to the next one. You know it's your leaf when after a long series of statements, your answers are only yes. And boom, he then tells you your name. Your name is Aaron. Your mother, mother's name is. Your father's name is. So, you were born on this month, this date, this year, at this time. The weekday was that. Your husband's name is. Blah. You have two kids, children, one daughter, one son. You have three siblings, two brothers, one sister. You know it's you. Mm -hmm. Close your mind. So all of that information is in that leaf? Yes. Right. Wow. Okay. This is so mind-blowing. I got to tell you, Dr. Q, holy smokes. I know. It's not it is. And it's a small leaf. And the only way to compress so much information onto the leaf is by using symbols. So yeah. there's no there's no ambiguity about this stuff is real, this is you, because it gives your name, your mother's name, yes. the date of birth, the, I mean, right. it gives you so, such very specific information. Very specific, correct. That. <laughs> so then after all that information, it goes even further to talk about your karma and give you the message? Well, that's just the matching, because you can verify oh. it's you, that's step two. Okay. And once it's verified, once you're matched, Oh my God, that's my lead. And then only we can start the reading. <laughs> I'm wow. getting the reading, chills. <laughs> and the reading starts with the moment you get the reading, mm -hmm. whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, Nadi means the exact moment in time when the information is divulged to you, not a day before, not a day later. Mm -hmm. On that day, in a trajectory, coming in two, three year increments, until there is no more writing on the leaf, which could mean it's the end of your life, oh. but not necessarily. Well, you need to know scary. in one sentence, no, it's not scary at all. No. <laughs> in one sentence, why a reading? A reading is here to help you create a better life trajectory. That's it. You're being given a trajectory from the moment you get the reading based on three aspects, your overall energies, not your mood, whether you had coffee in the morning or not, mm -hmm. makes no difference. Whether you had to fight with your husband or not, makes no difference. It's your energies. According to our system, our energies change every six months. There are energy cycles where there is no need for you, but there are energy cycles where there is a message for you. So that's one. Two, based on your thumbprint category name, that is your baseline. Mm -hmm. It's your genetic imprint. You cannot change it. It's you. And that will be described to you, explained to you in detail in your reading too, what your thumbprint means. And last but not least, it's based on Vedic astrology, which is more precise than Western astrology. The big difference is Western is based on sun and Indian, which is now called Vedic astrology. It's a hip name that was invested in the 70s because <laughs> Ayurveda became hip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they started calling it Vedic. In reality, it's Hindu astrology is based on moon. So based on these three, because the planets have an aspect of uh, have, an, have an impact on us. Mm -hmm. So based on these three, you get a trajectory. But life's not linear. It's not. Mm -hmm. So you can only, all the reader can give you is from today's point of view, it's a likely trajectory 
until the end of your life. And it comes in increments of years. And what we do, we cover the whole life. We only give whole life reading, which means all aspects of life, health, education, career, money, relationships, kids, you name it. And um, the reader gives you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Eey. Good means it's a great period for X, whatever that might mean. Mm -hmm. Writing a book, move, change jobs, get married, have children, doesn't matter, whatever it is. No one takes away your free will and choice. Your life is not predetermined, is not, it's nonsense. It's way too complex for that. Otherwise, we would all just be puppets. Mm -hmm. So then why should we live at all? All it does is, and that's how you must take a reading as a blueprint, mm -hmm. as a map, as a compass, because the intention of a reading is to help you create a better life trajectory for you, whatever better means to you. To me, it meant no more hospital, no more needles in my vein. That's already a much better life for me. So bad then, or ugly in a reading, simply identifies a block in your life. If you can embrace that everything in life is just energy, period. The conversation we have is just energy, our physical presence, the desk my laptop is on, I can talk to you, the food we put into our mouths, you know, career, money, you know, it's all energy. And if it's in flow, if it's a perfect sinus curve, if you wish, then everything's dandy. You have a good relationship, you make enough money, you're fulfilled in your job, whatever that might be. Mm -hmm. But if it's a block, the sinus curve is not a sinus curve at all, it's screwed up. And that's a block. So good news is, every time a block is identified in your reading, embrace it as a blessing because then you know there is an issue. Because at the end of the reading, the real power happens. And that is when the remedies are shared with you. For every block identified, you get a remedy. Okay, good. And we call it a puja. <laughs> yeah. That makes me feel better. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, I don't want to know this now, but okay. So there's a way to it, heal it. Of course, of course. Because as I said, the only reason for reading is to help you create a better life trajectory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Improve yeah. your life. Yeah. Better okay. you. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, uh, this, I know it's a lot. It, it, is a, it is a lot, but it is, it is a lot in such a profoundly wonderful way that, I, I mean, of course, I'm 100% called now to get a reading, right? So, if... Um, if I wanted to move in that direction, I assume that your institute would be the way to go, right? Connect with you and start the process for that search. How long does that search typically take from start to finish? How long does it usually take to get this reading? Because I assume it must be quite a long time. It does take a while. One has to be patient. You submit your thumbprint. And by the way, we have a secure website for whoever is worried about their thumbprint floating around. I'll pay good money to get this secure. And by the way, when it comes to money per se, I make no money. It's a full-time job, mm -hmm. and I dedicated my life to help others. Wow. I help my Indians, wow. my orphanage, my moderators, me personally, zero. Wow, well, that's, no am money. that's amazing yeah. of you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. For I have a different, you know, I make money differently. You know, I'm not independently wealthy. Certainly. I have to work. <laughs> sure. Make money. But but what what that illustrates yeah. is is that I mean you're not out to get rich on this. This is not a get rich no quick way. scheme. This is something it's that that you founded this institute in order to help people well, and and not just it. not just your Indians and your uh, your translators, but also. Mm -hmm us the seekers right that's that's an amazing yeah. thing that you're doing for the world so thank you. thank you seriously for doing what you're doing thank you so uh, when we set it up is we want to provide ethical authentic reading mm -hmm. from the comfort of your home you had you get the exact same experience actually it's a better experience i do not know if you've been to india or not the, the not audience, yet I mean. no. not yet but uh, we, we'll get it there. has a romantic connotation to it all going to india mm -hmm. but to be honest with you the reality is harsh mm. because you are in a hole in the wall called mm. office 
when they get the reading. It's hot as hell. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes. 20 incense candles of burning. It, it's suffocating. And then you try to understand what the reader is trying to tell you. Right. Mm -hmm. Not that romantic at all. It, it isn't. <laughs> I've done it. it it's not. Mm -hmm. There's no one holding your hand. Well, you, if you do it from home, you have your comfortable coffee, chair, in bed, you know, everything's handy. If you need to go to the bathrooms, you can use a Western bathroom. Mm -hmm. Again, they have Indian bathroom, very different altogether. Mm. It's a lot more comfortable doing it this way. Hence, we say get the reading from the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. And it's safe, secure. And we're registered in the U.S. so that people deal with a U.S.-based at the moment, still institute to be a foundation so that you have the security that you're dealing with real people. Because there are many, 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 many websites out there. Mm -hmm. And I assure you, you might not necessarily ever end up signing up with them mm -hmm. because it's, you, know, you have no idea where they're, or where they're based at. Right. So the process is the same, whether you do it in, in person in India or online, you, you, you start the search, you pay $100 for the search. Once we receive $100, we send you an email with a form where you then submit your right or left thumbprint, depending on your gender. For those of you who are watching this, I can show you like a form that we have. I prepared this. Mm -hmm. That's the form you get. You circle in male, female, country of birth, and you submit your impressions. Uh, That's it. And then you upload it to our secure server. The reader looks at it, identifies your thumbprint category name, and then the search starts. The average search time is six to 12 weeks. Can be shorter, mm -hmm. can be longer. Maximum search time is six months. Remember, our energy is changing over six months. Mm -hmm. So if there is no bundle in six months, don't get desperate. It just means not now. You resubmit new impressions. In a new energetic cycle, boom, could be a day later, there is a bundle for you. So once they find a the bundle, they bring it to the office. We send an email saying, congratulations, Karen. We found bundles for you. Now it's time to set up a time to have the matching and the reading. Matching and reading happen at the same, in, in one sitting. Mm -hmm. It takes about three to three and a half hours on average. Mm -hmm. First, the matching, where they identify your leaf. It takes about 45 minutes, give or take. And then there is a 15-minute break. Because you need some, some time to digest it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To get a cup of coffee, tea, mm -hmm. movie, do whatever you need to do on the nerves. And then we start with the reading. <laughs> the reading takes about an, an hour, an hour and a half, depending on how many questions you have at the end of the reading, because you ask unlimited questions until you're done. Mm. Plus, the remedies are within the reading time frame of three, three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. As I keep telling everyone in simple words, the magic. The secret, the secret lies in your thumbprint. Mm -hmm. All of this wouldn't be ha happening without your thumbprint. The magic lies in your remedies. We call them pujas. Uh, that means literally translated prayer ceremony. So those pujas, we, the moderators, explain to you in detail after the reading one more time. Mm -hmm. Even though the reader explains it to you, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Because the only part in your reading that you must take verbatim are the pujas. Mm, okay. You've got to follow them exactly as prescribed because mm -hmm. that is your way of showing the universe that you're serious about change, period. Sure, makes if sense. If you cannot do as prescribed, then the universe thinks, oh, well, you're not serious about it anyway, so why should there be change in your life? And so these, these remedies, these pujas, are they all ceremonies or things that you actively do or yep does there are two times i mean again take, i'm talking about every part an hour if we don't have the time mm -hmm. so pujas there are two of them to keep it simple those that you need to do yourself are mm -hmm. called temple pujas mm -hmm. and usually they are a mantra okay we tell you exactly how to do it don't waste your energies on how to correctly pronounce them it's a waste of your time the intention is the important part mm -hmm. and we will explain to you what the intention needs to be as you do the mantras. We explain to you how to set up a little altar at home, follow the puja room, and how many times, and that takes time, six to nine months, mm -hmm. six to nine months. For each block, 
there is a cycle that lasts about a month or two or three, and then you're done with the energetic block, and then you move on to the next, and then to the next, and then to the next. So each block identified as a remedy. And these are called, as I said, temple pujas. Could also be a physical act. Mm -hmm. For example, feed cow and baby cow while you're doing the puja. And people would say, oh my God, I live in New York City. I've never seen a cow in my life. <laughs> well, that is a challenge. You then need to think outside the box, go to farm, talk to the farmer. Say, Look, I'm not a crazy person. I was prescribed this puja. I need to do it. I did it too. You know, I moved mm -hmm. to Hungary when I had the reading done. Mm -hmm. And they told me I need to feed at least five children with fruits and candy. I was like, man, oh man. At the if same I time? Ask the kids, minute me, I am on five consecutive Fridays. And I thought to myself, if I ask a kid on the streets, they might arrest me. You know, <laughs> yeah. a, a white right. middle-aged man talking to kids. Give them candy. So, uh, <laughs> correct. <laughs> so then I thought, how can I solve the issue? I just contacted kindergartens and orphanages and I said, look, I'm not a crazy foreigner in your country. I don't speak Hungarian either, but this is what I need to do. Can you help me? Of course, every one of them said, oh, thank you so much. So I bought a whole sack full of fruits and candy. And on five Fridays, I showed up and said, please distribute today to at least five. And I made sure that there is no fighting. So I bought it for everyone. Mm -hmm. There you go. You can overcome it if you're serious about it. All right. Wow. wow. And do you do all of these remedies Right, like when you get so, if you have these blocks throughout your life, so many whenever questions. those blocks come, do you have to do those remedies at that time? Show. Um, like if it's in 20 no, 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 years, no, no. like how does that work? Yeah, yeah, all the blocks are identified in your reading, mm -hmm. doesn't matter if they're in a year from now or in 20 years from now, it's just energy from today's point of view that mm -hmm. is a little screwed up. So, for all of those, your entire reading, which means entire life, you get remedies now. Oh, okay. And you need to focus your energies for six, nine months. Mm -hmm. It takes a while. It's not, not, it's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's not that much. But it's on specific days, specific thing you need to do. I can't get over the image of at the same moment as you put your thumbprint onto that piece of paper, that's when the Maharishi starts writing your mm -hmm. palm leaf. Right? We're all connected at the quantum level, so it's all happening yeah. at the same time. And that image yeah. that you gave me, sticks in my head it not until you put your thumbprint down does the maharishi sit down and write your palm leaf wow. that yeah. I think so. that's i mean that in itself is the price of admission in my my estimation <laughs> thank you thank you yes. so these bundles have they always been around um if this is happening all at the same time or were they discovered like in our in our dimension a thousand years ago and then the reading started how did well, no readings have been going on for Two, three thousand years. So they've never, they, it's not like these bundles were ever kind of lost and then discovered and the reading started. They've just started no. and continued. We just don't really yes. know about it, them it, a lot. It's, okay. it's like an episode of Doctor Who where, uh, <laughs> you know, you, the minute you put, it, it just it just blows my mind. Like the, you may not have a palm leaf right now, but the minute you put your thumbprint on there, there you go. It's there. And, and like Dr. Q said, after six months in the search, there's no, we can't find a palm leaf for you. But maybe in the next cycle, maybe it could be as, as early as the next day, put your thumbprint again and boom, there all of a sudden it is because that's when the Maharishi wrote it down. I mean, that is just, it, it twists your head in so many different <laughs> directions. It's hard to wrap your mind around yeah. it. It's amazing. It is. Uh, so how... And, and this is a terrible question, but this is a skeptic metaphysician, so I've got to ask the question. But how is, like, what is the rate of success? Is there ever been a point where you're sitting there in one of those readings and the guy and the person goes, that's not me at all? Um, or or you don't find the palm leaf at all within that bundle? Uh, what, what are the chances of something like that happening? If you find a bundle, that means you have a leaf. 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Um, if you find a bundle, mm -hmm. okay. then you have a leak. What happens, not often, but let's say 90% of, of the time, first matching, that means the matching in a reading appointment that you have on Zoom, there is a match and you get the reading. But at about 10, 15% of the time, the reader picked not the right bundle. Mm -hmm. As I explained to you before, there are thousands of 
bundles that have your thumbprint name and there are 108 different thumbprint category names. So we're talking hundreds of thousands of bundles. He then goes back and picks two or three other bundles with your thumbprint category name. And if it's a second matching, because the first matching was unsuccessful, there's a 99% chance of success in second matching. In the history of our institute, with maybe uh, uh, half a dozen, six people who had to have a third matching and once a fourth matching. Wow. But as I said, if we have a bundle, if you find a bundle, it's now, to me, given how many breedings we've already done, guaranteed that you have a lead. If we don't find a bundle, it means this is not your energetic cycle mm-hmm. to have a reading. Right. Come back six months later. Do you have any pictures or is there any way we can see what the actual leaf looks like? Because we've seen the bundle. Of course. But... I can show you. Here is, again, one more time. We, it's a copy, actually. It's a copy of an actual oh, okay. bundle because it travels so much and I give a lot of talks. Mm-hmm. And I even I tell people, don't touch it. Yeah. First thing they do is they touch <laughs> A 200-year-old, sure. very brittle leaf. So what we did is we copied it on, and so now people can touch it as much as they want. And so this is how a leaf looks. Wow. It's ancient Tamil. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> right, isn't and it? What we do, and what we do is we take a picture after the reading, and as a special service, not only do we record the reading, and send a recording of your reading and professionally edit it. Mm-hmm. We we'll also use chat a lot to explain things as the reading goes on. Mm-hmm. You get that too. We take high resolution pictures of your picture, send it to you too. And your pujas in a PDF format transliterated into English, they can read it mm-hmm. with the pictures of the gods and goddesses that are necessary to do your puja. You send it all in a, in a downloadable um, file mm-hmm. through WeTransfer, and boom, you suck it onto your computer, and then you can start your homework, your remedy. Wow. This is mind blowing. Um, it is. I've been doing it for so many years. I'm going to waste it myself. And if someone gets the reading and they, they do. Mm-hmm. To the best of their ability, they, they complete the pujas, and it just doesn't kind of work. Can they come back and ask you for help with that, or have you ever have you never had that experience where anyone's needed that? Sure, of course. Again, once life is not set in stone, that's what people need to understand. Just because the trajectory on the day of the reading shows you this trajectory does mean that that's going to be the reality that you're experiencing. The only person, one more time, the only person who can create the reality they're experiencing is the person himself, herself, mm-hmm. period. Your right. actions, non-actions, thoughts, belief system, you name it. Life is way too complex to be predetermined. It doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Not in my way of thinking mm-hmm. and, and perceiving the world. Otherwise, I could be just a puppet. A puppet. So why, why should I live at all? Because right. I want to experience things and, and do my, my choices. So if indeed you do it all correctly and it doesn't work out, God knows what the issue might be. Mm-hmm. Have we had this? Of course. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people say, oh, you'll, you'll stay married for the rest of your life. And the partner dies. Or, I don't know, or they get divorced, or they find someone else, or they mm-hmm. don't get married, even though they want to get married. I don't know. There's so many things. Mm-hmm. It's too complex to, to say that is guaranteed. No, it's right. likely, from today's point of view, that this might unfold. So please accept the reading only as a guideline. Right. Because right. mm-hmm. what it is meant for is so that you can see Steer the ship in the direction that you want mm-hmm. so that your soul is in alignment with what's supposed to be doing. Right. That is the important information for me. Mm-hmm. So when I had my reading, I wasn't a stickler on the small details. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to know overall, where should I go with this? Mm-hmm. Nobody forced me to start this institute. Sure. 
you know, I could have said nonsense, I'm out of here, bye bye. Mm -hmm. And yet I'm here talking about it to you 10 years later. Mm -hmm. Right. Free choice. Yeah. And this, this is not. Like you would think the amount of work that it takes to get this reading, you would think it would be, you know, thousands of dollars to get a reading, but it's not. I it's charge, actually. It, I could charge a lot more. Yeah. On, yeah. on purpose, I'm not. Yeah. So it, we didn't talk about charges. It's $100 for the search. Mm -hmm. If we do not find the bundle in six months, you get your $100 back. Yeah. 100% wow. guaranteed yeah. money back if you and, don't find a yeah. bundle. That's, so, that's right. amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then once we find a bundle, you can choose to have a reading. That will be $400 mm -hmm. for the reading. Now, you also have 100% money back guaranteed. Too. If you say, I didn't like it, you get your money back too. Mm -hmm. This is the only reason I'm doing it is to help. Mm -hmm. If right. you say it was no help, well, then I'm very sorry that it wasn't. Here's your money back. Mm -hmm. Not a problem, really. And that is the reason why, after thousands of readings, if you go online and search us, we only have, and that's hundreds of five star reviews. Only yes, that's one less than five stars. I can only imagine, oh, Doc. Yeah. That's that's an amazing thing you're doing to give them. Anyone could just say, "No, I want my money back." But so yeah. this, I would say, I would look at it as an exchange of energy. Right, this is an amazing uh, service, for lack of a better word, that you're giving to the reader. Mm -hmm. So you're you're doing an energetic exchange. Four hundred dollars is is not a lot of money. Five hundred dollars is not a lot of money to do a reading like this, especially with the amount of work it yes. takes well, to find that the lead. Amount of, the amount of people involved. Yeah, yeah. Find the scenes that yeah. you are aware of. Yeah. We have a professional editor of editing and everything. We've got a reader, interpreter, moderator, mm -hmm. insurance web platform we have to yeah. pay for security we have to pay for i don't know credit card payments <laughs> you know, processing you know yeah. it's a lot so once people do it they can donate money they mm -hmm. and many do mm -hmm. many 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 do afterwards uh, so that's the reason why on purpose to keep the cost as low as possible to make it available to as many people wow. and if somebody by the way says i cannot afford 500 dollars," what i do we set aside some money to then be able to support a person who cannot afford half hundred bucks. Oh, so wow. we then give a discount and utilize the money we were given as donations mm -hmm. to then, or, or, or money anyway. So I juggle with it so I can help. Again, I do this not to be a millionaire because I assure you there is no way in hell <laughs> on earth I'll ever be one. Um, doing this, I'm doing it to help people, mm -hmm. right. genuinely help people, because mm -hmm. yeah. I believe in it. It's a fantastic, yeah. it's an amazing vehicle. You know, uh, and you get that feeling from you yeah. very clearly. Mm -hmm. You are here yeah. to help people, and it is amazing. I cannot believe we've been talking for almost an hour. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, oh my gosh. I made a note. <laughs> Gosh, I, I had, can, it's okay. Can I just ask one? I apologize. Can I just ask one more question? Yeah, go for it. Kim. Okay. Yeah. So since this is about energies, and when you make that thumbprint, that's when the the leaf is created. Is it better to start this process when you're happy and things are going well, or it does difference. it make it doesn't make a difference? So that whatever comes up, no matter when you make that thumbprint, it's Correct. always going to be the same. Yeah, because it's it's your soul's energy. It's your well, energetic. I did, you yeah. know, I didn't know. Yes. So. Your thumbprint mm -hmm. name you, is uh, that in itself is a science mm -hmm. to explain the name of your thumbprint, what's sure. in it, and each there's usually two, three, or four parts mm -hmm. of your thumbprint, and each part reflects a quarter, half, or a third of your life. Oh. The energies. It could have Maguda, means crown. You're mm -hmm. connected to the universe your inherent leader, it explains to you in detail who you are. So you got to embrace it. Okay. Mm. And if you embrace it, it can help you understand why things have been the way they are until now because your thumbprint already has it. The only thing you cannot change in a reading because it's you. It's your genetic imprint. Right. That's it. Okay. Embrace it and then uh, utilize it as best as you right. can. Right. 
Well, just like you were called to share this information with the West after your reading, I don't need a reading to feel the need to share this with the West. This is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do everything we can to get this into the hands of the people that really need it. So if you're listening to this right now and you are as flabbergasted as we are about this, if it's something that either you've heard of before but weren't uh, didn't really understand or hear properly, or this is the first time you're hearing it, I urge you to go to our show notes, connect with Dr. Q and the Institute and get your reading. And please share this episode with as many people as you can that you feel will help because this is astounding, just unbelievably amazing. Dr. Q, thank you so, yes. so much for thank your patience you. and oh, our scheduling welcome. stuff of course, of course. And, and for coming and 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 being diligent and, and, and coming and telling us your story and providing this information because it is truly life-changing mm-hmm. and thank you for oh, all yeah. you're doing to help so many people mm, absolutely you're welcome yeah it mm-hmm. comes to my heart really mm-hmm. otherwise it wouldn't be here mm-hmm. okay. and, and i think we'll, we'll i've got an idea that i want to throw by you doc so we'll we'll keep sure. talking after this but uh thank you once again and uh we'll see you later namaste take care everybody thank you well, thanks for coming along on this journey of discovery with us. We'd love to continue our conversation with you on our website at skepticmetaphysician.com or on Facebook and Instagram under Skeptic Metaphysician Podcast. If you know someone who would benefit from hearing the messages we're sharing on the show, do them and us a favor and share the show with them. It will help get the word out about us and it may just change someone's life for the better. And if you're listening to this on the radio and you missed something, not to worry, all of our shows, including this one, can be found at skepticmetaphysician.com. You can also watch the videos or even send us an email or voicemail directly from the site. We absolutely love feedback and would appreciate hearing from you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as we have. That's all for now. We'll see you on the next episode of The Skeptic Metaphysicians. Until then, take care. Take care.